but of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah, or Noe, were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. All right. First off, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule and teach well. All right, peace and salutations to the whole community. To the Akiyam out there on the highways and byways, you know, making their bodies a living sacrifice, all right? Offering up their uh, reasonable service, their reasonable sacrifice unto the Lord, all right? <clears throat> Which might be the 144,000 of the elect, all right? Okay, and the one third. I want to say shalom to you brothers as well. All right, continue to fight the good fight of faith. Also, continue to spread the good news, which is the gospel spread across the what? The four corners of the earth. Say Shalom. Shalom to you sisters right out there, the Akwaf that's out there listening and learning in silence. <clears throat> shalom to you few sisters as well. All right, and with this particular video I'm making right now, you know, uh, it's just uh, a, a video about the uh, days of Noah, man. All right. It's going to be a quick video. Just, just start right here in Matthew chapter 24, you know, talking about pretty much the end times, man. When Yahweh Shai comes back. All right. And nobody even knows that time, man, nor the day, man, okay? But we do have a, a, a timeline or a measurement, <laughs> all right, on when the Lord said he was going to be coming, man, okay? And he said, man, hey, that what there's going to be earthquakes and diverse places, uh, wars and rumors of world wars, okay? See that you not be troubled. Why? Because it's not the end yet, right? But... We are in the end time. We can't tell why, because we see these wars, you know, brewing up as we speak over in the east, man. Okay? Russia, Ukraine, all right? Israel and Iran, okay? <clears throat> hey, these, 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 uh, these nations are brewing up right now as we speak before our eyes, man. Okay? We are definitely in the end times, man, right now. Okay? Revelation 13 to 16 is being manifested, you know, that 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 mark, all right, or that karagma, okay? Hey, the Lord is sealing up the elect, man, okay? And he's holding the, the four winds back, man. He got those angels uh, holding those four winds back, man. All right, what's that, uh, Revelation chapter 7, okay? Heard not the earth and the sea, right? Roughly paraphrasing, Okay? But like like they said in Matthew 24, it says, as in the days of Noah. All right, let's just read it. It says, Matthew 24 and 36, but at the, the days of the hour and hour, no, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only, and his name is Yahweh. All right. It says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of son of man be. It says, for as in the in the days that were before the flood, they were what? Eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Un until the day of Noah, you know, entered into the ark, right? So knowing that these times are the end times right now, okay, it said they're going to be what? Eating and drinking, right? And guess what, man? If they're going to be eating and drinking like that, it's, it's, it's nine times out of ten or ten times out of ten, they're going to be, you know, those are the, going to be the ones receiving that mark, man. All right? That karagma, man. That implant within their um, hands, right hands or their forehead, man. Okay? This, would, this is what this is, is giving us a, a glimpse of. Okay? It said, for as in the days of Noah, they were... Uh, that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, man. And that's the only way you're going to be able to receive that mark. That's the only way you're going to be able to what? Buy and sell, man. <laughs> okay. Save he had the mark. Okay. It said marrying and giving in marriage. Okay. Until the days of Noah entered into the ark, man. And they're going to be having a merry old time. Okay. 
and the Lord is going to creep up on their ass, man. Like a thief, man. Okay? Like a thief, man. And guess what? A thief ain't going to let you know when he's coming, man. All right? What he's going to be doing is going to be scoping you out. That's what the Lord doing now, man. He's putting that scope A-O, you know, that scope on, on, on the wicked, man. Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, set a mark on them, you know, that sigh and that cry, man. Okay? For the abominations that be done there, I roughly paraphrase. So there's going to be two different marks, man. Right? There's going to be a mark of uh, exemption, you know, pursuing the Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And, you know, which is a spiritual mark, all right, of the Lord, man. And Esau going to try to come with his mark, okay, to mark his wicked, okay, which is all of the Lord as well, too, you know, because he was given that power to do so through his uh, lying wonders and his pseudoscience, okay. <clears throat> okay, so it's going to be two marks, man. It's going to be the Ezekiel 9, uh, ch uh, chapter 9, verse 4 mark, which is a spiritual uh, mark. of uh, It's called the Doha, all right? And it's going to be a physical mark, okay? And that physical mark, guess what? These ones that's going to be eating, all right, and drinking, those are the, going to be the ones who's taking that mark, Okay? Just like in the days of Noah, man. All right? And, hey, Noah was prophesying for a very long time, man, that this, that, that rain was going to come. Before that, before the flood, man, it was just a dew that came across the earth to be able to water the earth, to nourish it, man, to, to, to bring forth its fruit. All right? It was never a rain. It didn't never rain before that time. So they didn't believe Noah at that time. You know, just like they don't believe us now. They don't believe destruction is coming to America and coming to this whole world. Okay? When we out there, you know, the Lord sent us out there, you know, on a mission, man. All right? To tell our people about their transgressions, man, before the Lord comes. All right? That they, they, they putting the Lord's business to the side, man. And they tell me, I'll I get that. I'll get to that later. I got some other business to do. I just got married. Or I got this piece of land. Or whatever it is. Whatever excuse that they make. All right? Hey, but they're not worried about, you know what I'm saying, the business of the Lord, man. Okay? So these are going to be the ones who the Lord going to creep up on, man. All right? It says, <clears throat> verse 38, it says, so like it says, uh, for as in the days of Noah, it's like it, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day of the of, of that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and looked them all away. Okay, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right. And that's exactly what it was. The Lord took all of them away, man. And that, and that time, the Lord took them away with water, man. This time, it's going to be with a lake. But this time, it's going to be promised with a fire, with fire, man. All right? The Lord promises he wasn't going to flood the earth anymore. All right? But here's the irony in that. It's going to be a lake. But this time, it's going to be with fire. And ain't that beautiful? <laughs> you know? And the Lord made right with his promise. Okay? He made right with the promise. But it's gonna, still going to look like a lake as the Lord is beaming us up on those chariots, man. We're going to be looking down at the destruction. Okay? And our new bodies. It said, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Verse 40, it says, Then shall two be in the field, and one shall be taken, and the other left, man. All right? And the Lord is going to beam us up, man. Okay? It said the one shall be taken, man. That's that one That's that one third that the Lord promised, you know, to be uh, exempt of, of, of destruction, man. Okay? That's why I said two shall be in the field. All right? 
Hey, it's going to be, hey, could you imagine that? You know, I won't go get beamed up, man. All right. Verse 41, it says, two women shall be grinding at the meal and one shall be taken and the other left. All right. Verse uh, 42, it says, watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord do come. Nobody knows, man. Hey, the Lord don't even know. The Lord Yahweh don't even Yahweh Shai don't even know. All right? That's why I said right here, be ready for his coming, man. Well, hey, our duty is to be, adorn ourselves, you know, and make ready, you know, <clears throat> like those uh, uh, five wise virgins, man, who kept their oils uh, 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 full. That oil is symbolic of this truth, man. All right? We trying to hold fast until the Lord come, man. That's what he told us to do for whatever whatever measure of oil we got. <clears throat> okay? It says, verse 43, But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, right? <laughs> and that's how the Lord's going to come, right? It says, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up, all right? And that house is 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 our, our temples, man, okay? What we need to be doing with our temples and our minds, man, all right? And our spirit is is is, is being in, in, in the spirit of the Lord, man, okay? Cleaning house, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? He's a boy. While we, while the Lord, hey, he giving us the signs that he coming, man. All right. And 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 and, and if you're not uh, being on your watch or watching, <clears throat> you know how, how do we watch, man? We watching because what we seeing these, you know, we seeing the signs, man. We seeing the signs of the Lord's coming, man. We seeing the wars, okay, brewing up. We seeing um, <clears throat> these earthquakes in diverse ways. We seeing. Uh uh, 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 what's that? Let me say, uh, you know, uh, dis uh, people being disobedient, obedient to their parents, spiritually and physically, man. Okay, we seeing all this right now, man. And the Lord is coming, man. It's sure to come, man. He's gonna come like a thief to some people, to the to the ones that's not watching. All right, but to the ones that's watching, guess what? We're expecting him to come. We're expecting company. <laughs> All right, and with that, yeah, yeah, we're hey, we're, hey, we're gonna let the Lord in, man. Huh? All right, because we knew he was coming, so it's not gonna be surprising to us. All right, it says verse forty-four. Therefore, be ye also ready, right? For in such an hour as ye think, not the Son of Man cometh, man. Got to be ready, man. Let's look at this word, ready. Okay? Mm -hmm. That word, ready, right? It says, prepare, ready, of things, ready at hand, opportune, seasonable, of person, ready, prepare, right, to do something, to receive one coming, right? We hey, we gonna be ready. We gonna be re ready to receive you, Howard Shai, man. Okay, and we because we why we we receiving him now, all right. But the one hey, the ones who's not watching and preparing themselves or adorning themselves for the Lord's coming, guess what? <clears throat> they not gonna receive you. They not gonna know what it what it's gonna be. Okay, in those times. All right. So we gotta be ready to what? Hey, be ready for the Lord to receive him, man. Okay. Verse 44, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man come. All right. Verse 45, it says, Who then is a faithful and wise servant, man? Okay. Whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Right. Hey man, and that's what we that's what we trying to do, rule over our house. We getting our house in order, man. Okay. 
And what we're doing now is we're, we're being stewards to the Lord's house, man, to the ministry, man, to the best of our ability. Okay. All right. It says, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Right. Yeah. We're going to be, uh, you know, uh, keeping busy in, within the ministry, man. All right. Being brotherly within the ministry. All right. Uh, uh, um, uh, changing our conduct, you know, and getting and adorning ourselves, man. Putting on putting on that righteous garment, man. Okay. Hey, we want to be found blessed, man. We want to be found a blessed servant, man. Right? Because when the Lord comes, we want Him to see us doing His work. We want to be. We are stewards of the Lord, of the Lord's work household, man. All right. And the steward's job is to up, it's like a manager, man. His job is to upkeep, you know, the running of his house. Okay? We don't want to just be, you know, um, uh, uh, just sitting back, you know, folding our hands, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With our hand in our pockets like Al Bundy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And our pants, you know, just doing nothing. It says, verse 47, Verily I say unto you, close the door. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. And when Yahushai comes back, man, all right, guess what? <laughs> he not gonna, we not going to lay up our talents, man, under under the bed, man, or under a bush, man, okay? We're going to be multiplying, man, okay? We're going to do right by the Lord, you know what I'm saying, what, for what he gave us, man. I right, with this Holy Spirit that he gave us, whatever portion he gave, each brother is different. All right. Hey, we what we need to do is 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 do something with that money that he gave us, man. Okay. Hey, so why? So the Lord, you know, we we do good over one, the Lord will give us ten, and you know, the ten cities to rule over, man. Okay. Whatever portion a man got, man, okay? We don't want to say, oh, well, we thought you was an, uh, we knew you was an austere man and I didn't want to do nothing with the work or whatever it is. Oh, we, the Lord want to see us working, man, all right? And it goes for me as well, too, okay? Why? Because when he come back, man, you know, he, he, he give us these crowns, Lord willing, we be those men, Okay? And he gonna give us, you know, a uh, 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 reign, you know, over over cities, man, over realms. Okay, it says verse forty eight. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, "My lord delayeth his coming," right, <laughs> and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkard, right, with with, with these people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, they're gonna be eating and drinking. You know what I'm saying? And being and marrying and, and being married. Okay, it said and shall begin to smite his fellow servant, man, and to eat and drink with the with the drunkard, which is the two thirds. Okay, it said the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, right, and in an hour that he is not aware of. And shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. All right, when the Lord come back, man. All right. He want to see, hey, when the Lord come back, he want to see his servant working, man. All right. He say, hey, he want to see us with faith when he come back, man. That's why I said, and the Lord of the service shall come in the day when he's not looking, and an hour that he's not aware, man. Okay? And the Lord shall cut him asunder, man. He's, he's going to say, bring him hither, man. And those who don't want me to reign over them, you know, bring him hither and slay him before me, man. Hey, off with his head. Why? Because he wasn't, you know, ob uh, obtaining that truth and, and, and flipping that money that the Lord gave. And that money is his truth, man. Okay? 
real talk. And, and that's just point blank, period, man. And the Lord going to come back, you know what I'm saying? And he say, I have not to come to send peace on earth, man, but a sword, man. Okay? But a sword, the Lord coming back for war, man. Okay? That's why you see war stirring up and blowing up now. Okay? <laughs> and the Lord stirring that up, man. Okay? Let's go to Second Peter right quick. And then uh, I'm going to get out of here. All right? Why? Wow, because the Lord is, boy, he said he bring in what? Uh, uh, lamentation, warning, and woe. That's what these scriptures is, is for, man. For our warning, man. Okay? Second Peter two and five. Second Peter two and five. Well, hold on, stop. Second Peter two verse five it says, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person. All right. So Noah in that time when the Lord, you know, prophesied to Noah and told him to build an ark, man. Why? Because he was going to flood the earth, right? Because wickedness was uh, exceedingly polluted. All right. And, and, and wickedness was, was increasing on the earth. The Lord destroyed it, man. And the Lord <clears throat> saved eight people during that time, man. So at that time, at the time of Noah time, hey, it was only eight eight of the elect, man, at, in his times. It was only eight people. Okay? Okay? That was the elect of that time. It says... It said, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, man. Hey, the Lord, hey, Noah was, was, was prophesying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, to the wicked, the two-thirds of our people, man, okay? And you know they want to listen to Noah, call him crazy, call him a drunkard, all right? That old fool, you know? They were looking at Noah crazy, man, all right? But Noah was a, a, a sign of righteousness, man. Noah was, was really was really the one, okay, in those times, man. But of course, a, 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 we was, he was looked at as crazy. It is just just like we looked at as crazy, man. It said bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, man. That's what the Lord is gonna do again, man. Instead, instead of a flood of uh, water. This time it's going to be a flood of fire, man. Okay? It said, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned with an overthrow, making them an example, right, unto those that after should live ungodly, man. And that's exactly what it was, what Sodom and Gomorrah was, man, those five cities, man, that the Lord destroyed with fire, raining from heaven. And guess what? Fire is going to rain from heaven again, man, with his chariots and with the uh, thermonuclear war, man, World War Three. Okay? Sodom and Gomorrah is, is an example of, of what the Lord is about to do. He's about to condemn and overthrow, you know, uh, you know, the wicked elites, man. All right? This beast. You know? Making them an example unto those that after should live on God and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. That's what's going on. We vexed with this filthy conversation of the wicked, man. All right? Man don't know he a man. He try to be a woman, a woman trying to be a man. All right? Hey, we vexed daily, man, with this filthy conversation, man. It said, for the righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteousness, righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. This is why the Lord need to come back, man, and deliver us, man. Okay? 
Hey, scarcely, man. We're going to be scarcely saved, man. The Lord, through the strands of our salvation, man, we're going to be saved out of uh, out of the hands of our uh, enemies, man. Just like, you know, we were in Egypt, man. Hey, we're not going to even talk about the deliverance of Egypt no more. Okay? Why? Because we going to, we, hey, the Lord is going to deliver us out of this, you know, spiritually spiritual Egypt right now, man. All right, which is known as America, man. Babylon the Great. Okay. It says, <clears throat> for the righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Okay. The Lord Yahweh knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation, right? And to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished, man. All right. And we're working under the Lord's, uh, uh, um, under the Lord's um, uh, uh, eyes, man. Just a hey, to 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 you know to be delivered, man. Okay. Why? Well, it's going to be, going to be that temptation. What? That's going to try the whole world, man, with this corrupt, man, with this Revelation thirteen and sixteen, with this RFID chip, man. Okay. That's what it is, man. Hey, this is hey, this is as the days of Noah, man. See, it's gonna be the same way when the Lord come this time, man, in his glory. Alright. Okay. So that's all I got, man. That's all hey, hopefully this edifies somebody, man, you know. Hey, hey. Call all your how about Shim Yahushai, by Shimma Papa Dash, alright? Hey, on to the next, Shalom.